Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bingle Nation. I'm Avery. And I'm Noah, and this is your Bingle Nation News. If you want to say in how your school is run and have great ideas to make our school better and want to get involved in student activities, then you should run for student council. Information and application packets are available outside 401, and there are going to be informational meetings today at lunch in 401. You can see Mr. Spidener in 401 if you have any questions. The Blackwood High School Future Business Leaders of America, in partnership with Shred360, will once again host a free shredding event. This event will take place April 8, 2016, from 9 a.m. to noon at Blackwood High School. Please contact Ms. Ashley Garner for more information. A 5K run is in place for the celebration of the 100th year of JROTC. You can come celebrate with us Saturday, April 23rd at noon. There's going to be food, t-shirts, music, raffle, and a fun one for the little ones. JROTC is trying to set a world record of every JROTC in the world to start all at the same time and day. So come out and support our Bengal cadets in this 5K run slash walk. You can sign up online or see any JROTC cadet for more information. Attention juniors and seniors, USC Upstate Admissions will be in the College Center on Friday, April 15th at lunch. See Ms. Mudger to sign up today. If you are a senior and need to contact the counselor for specific questions about your college application, sign up for a time with Ms. Mudger 401. If you are a junior or senior, age 17 or older, seeking part-time employment and have an interest in the financial industry, Check your e school email and see Ms. Busby in 106 for additional information. Relay for Life t-shirts are going to be on sale this month. They are going to be $15 for short sleeve and $20 for long sleeve shirts. The shirts come in Clemson Orange, Carolina Garnet, Columbia Blue, White, and Mint Green. Talk to Mr. Pressman if you are interested in helping sell shirts, but please support and help raise money for the cause. The drama department is holding auditions for two things. Senior Chris Tuning will be directing a one-act play called An Actor's Nightmare. He's holding auditions Thursday, April 14th after school in room 911. Everyone is invited to audition. No prior preparation is necessary. Also, auditions for the talented and gifted drama class for next school year will be held Thursday, April 21st after school in room 911. Auditioners are required to prepare a one-minute monologue. Please see or email Ms. Deedle if you are interested in auditioning. Are you getting excited for the summer movies? Marvel has been producing awesome films lately, but freshman K.J. Jenkins has more on some possible issues with the summer blockbusters. Kicking off 2016 with Deadpool, Marvel starts another year. With Captain America Civil War on the verge of release on May 6th, followed by X-Men Apocalypse on May 27th, it may seem like a great start to a cinematic year, but it's not. There's a glitch in their timeline. Quick 
Silver. It seems Quicksilver finds himself in two different timelines with two different lives. For it all depends on how they're portraying the film. Because Quicksilver in Age of Ultron may have a whole other different purpose than the Quicksilver in X-Men Apocalypse. Overall, I think that uh, there are not enough viewers to really pay attention to that, but if you like a really hardcore comic fan, then you're going to feel uncomfortable about it and even angry about it. Even with two different Quicksilvers, Marvel's still running on parallel time. One in the past and one in the present. If things end badly, they might just crash. Comic universe. I feel like when you mess with time, you have to do it correctly. But I think in this movie, they're doing it well enough for it to work, but not as well as I would like for it to work. With the revamping of X-Men and the introduction of the Civil War, Marvel is going off on their own path, completely ignoring the original plots of the comic books. Hopefully, Marvel will see the error in their ways and resolve the situation before their movie business crashes. This is freshman K.J. Dinkins reporting for BHS Roar Nation. Great insight, K.J. That's all for news. Now let's check in with sports. Basketball, basketball weightlifting will be held from 4 to 5, Tuesdays and Thursdays. See Coach Washington for more information. Spring physicals will be offered by Palmetto Health Orthopedics this Saturday, April 9th. Blythewood High School schedule time is 11.30. Buses will transport athletes from Blythewood to the clinic and back. Athletes should be at the school by no later than 10.30 a.m. They should bring $10 cash or a check made payable to Blythewood High School Athletics. Physical packets are available on the high school's website. See your coach for more information. There will be a volleyball meeting next Monday, April 11th at 5.30 in the big gym. See Coach Hall if you have any questions. Good luck to the boys' tennis team at Dutch Fork today. And come out to support the JV and B team baseball teams against Dutch Fork at home tonight, beginning at 5.30. That's all for sports. Now let's head over to Avery with weather and birthdays. Good morning. I'm Avery. It is currently 56 degrees, but most of the rain should be clearing out. You can expect sunny skies this afternoon with temperatures around 72, but winds reaching close to 20 miles per hour. Friday looks to be pleasant with highs near 70. That's all for weather. Let's wish happy birthday to those students who are celebrating today. Morgan Anderson, Kaylin Bell, Kenny Benton, Naaman Fears, Kyle Hardwick, Destiny Lewis, Ayana Lewisant, Elizabeth Carrasco, and Abby Griffin. That's all for news. Have a great day, Bengals.